what's up guys thank you for tuning in uh, i'm down here in pompano beach florida for the florida winter tour rock cup round one uh didn't make it for practice yesterday because i had work made it down here last night went out for first session uh, it rained all night so the truck's gonna be wet so i put on rain tires uh don't ever let me make decisions on my own the track was dry so i rode around easy not to burn anything up then they let us know that we need Bridgestone tires only, which I don't run Bridgestone tires. So I acquired some Bridgestone tires. Not very good ones, but we acquired some Bridgestone tires. Went out, practice session, and was dead last. So the day can only get better from here. And uh, I put myself a good starting point, which is not very high. <laughs> so hopefully I climb up the ladder. And qualifying is next. And uh, I'm just gonna send it because <laughs> there's nothing else I could do. Uh, we're just gonna hope for the best and uh, hope you guys enjoy this video. Don't forget to like, subscribe, and share. Thank you for all the support and uh, catch you track soon. So, this is the set of tires that I found for practice. Uh, just want to show you that even during practice, it was getting hectic and wild out there. Uh, but here's a lap around the whole track. I think the track was a pretty cool layout. Um, it had passing zones even for a 206 you can send into some turns uh, i'm pretty sure everyone in this session passed me pretty easily uh, i was about three seconds off the pace when i came in so we had some work to do for sure but i had that in mind that the tires i grabbed were not the best um this is my first dry session on the track since i missed thursday's practice but here we go and uh, enjoy the rest of the lap uh, i forgot the qualifying the turn on the camera uh, i qualified p18 and jed pulled off p8 so even after qualifying we were not doing that well at all now here's a pretty cool section you go left right right back to left back to like a right carousel so that was a pretty fun section on the track um i did really well in this section just when it came to a tight section i wasn't doing too well myself to be honest but that's a lap around the pompano beach circuit so qualifying's out of the way Jen did a great job. What did you finish? Seven? Eight? Eight. Eight. I did not do that good of a job. And I think I forgot to hit record. Um, I did get faster though. So just not fast enough yet. Uh, we threw on the kitchen sink and then some. And uh, we'll see how it goes. He can drive, but if he couldn't. This could be a good job for him. So during the formation lab, there was an incident right off the bat. Uh, I don't really know how that happened. Uh, for heat one, we started off really, really slow. Uh, clutches were starting to burn and smell up front in front of me for sure. I was just hoping mine wouldn't slip, which I'm glad it didn't. We all got away. Uh, I stayed off the bumper. I didn't want to get into a first five turn incident, which this heat, everybody got away pretty good. Uh, it was just a little beating and banging up front. I think the 107 got into the wall. I'm not sure if it was helped or by that individual self. Um, but we we got all we clean, a little beating and banging here and there, but nothing too crazy. A rock cup let us race, basically, and if we deserve the penalty, they're handing them out. So pretty pretty good racing between everybody. It was uh, pr pretty pretty good overall. I was finding a hopping issue all weekend. Uh, the cart would just hop around like a bunny rabbit. I didn't know why. Uh, we worked on it all weekend long, so it wasn't for lack of trying for sure. Uh, basically stayed around in the back here. Uh, I say stayed around. I was trying pretty hard not to lose that pack in front of me, uh, but they were all dicing and moving around, so they would back up into me as well. So it wasn't as bad because I was staying up close. Uh, here. The person in front of me uh, had a mechanical issue, don't know what happened, maybe lost a chain or something. And then the 105, Alex as well, had a mechanical issue. He lost a chain as well. Uh, he actually ended up winning the event at the end of the weekend, which is pretty cool since he had bad issue all weekend. Uh, one due to a, a penalty at the start of the finals. Uh, basically here, we all got strung out. I stay in the same position. Just rode around, did the best I could. Was trying to change, do different lines, work on my driving. Uh, just did the best I could. I ended up P14. Pretty good results for how the weekend has started and has gone at the moment. 
so the day is coming to a close. Portia and I have had a tough day. It only can get better from here. Yeah. <laughs> One way to go. <laughs> only um, we did a bunch of changes. It's going to work. I feel very, very confident for tomorrow. Stay tuned. Stay tuned for next week. <laughs> Guys, day two. A little bit under the weather, still. Not, just not feeling it. Got fever, not, not going to sleep right. Uh, the team has been amazing, taking care of me. Uh, we're here battling. I didn't qualify well yesterday. Uh, raced well. Actually got lucky, but just got to move up. We got the car quicker and quicker, quicker every session out. Uh, we've been on the back foot to that practice Thursday, but they can dig it, man. Bring it up. Here we go for heat two. Uh, this time, we got, they got on the gas quick, and we we're full throttle by the time we hit the check flag. Uh, again, just staying off the guy in front of me, uh, trying to keep as clean as possible. Uh, no accidents, no nothing major. Just trying to get through the fuel as quickly as possible, and then maybe take some advantages of passing people when they were possible. Um, I think the 101 got turned around. And then here I made a move on a 105 and just stayed behind the 100. And the 170s, uh, my buddy Eli Yanko. Rode around him most of the race, to tell you the truth and be honest. I was going to make a move on him, but he went in and made a move on the 100. Because I made it stick, can't believe it. But then we both got passed by the 105. So it was good racing. Uh, stayed behind the 100 most of the race. Uh, we did the best we could to keep up. Uh, good battling back and forth as much learning as I could do still trying to learn as much as possible See where I can get better in some areas and some not in other areas uh, The whole time I kept working on my driving working on my driving uh, Eli sent it in he made a really good move uh, on the 100 and just kept beating and banging and doing our best to stay up They kept battling back and forth and kept me in the mix it kept me close. Uh, here, I was working on my driving and maybe lifting a little bit more in the car to rotate, turn through. Uh, got a good run out of the carousel, which I called the carousel, and then made my move on the inside. So basically stayed behind Eli the best I could. Uh, we really didn't pass anybody. We went past one more individual, that's about it. Uh, the MGM driver got around us and we we're trying to get back around him. Uh, it wasn't able to happen. On this final lap, I did find out in some areas of the track if I went a little bit slower or entered a little bit uh, slower, I could get the car to rotate a lot better. So I was working on that towards the end of the, uh, the race here. But overall, the goal was to stay clean, to finish the races, and then have a good starting position for the pre-finals. So couldn't be too upset about that. I went back, did more changes, I kept working on the cart. I kept working on my driving. Overall, excellent team effort. I did get faster every time I went out, so I was happy about that. Uh, every time we did a change, the cart worked, so we just kept making changes. Uh, overall, had a blast following my buddy around, and ended up P15. Well, on the heat number three, what can I say? This is when the, the wick was turned up. Uh, the cart felt the best in this heat, to be honest. Uh, best handling has felt all weekend. Uh, felt really good. Uh, went to a turn, got tangled up on something, got pushed out wide. Um, fell back, but I was able to make up some time because the cart was just handling way better, and I was driving way better, too. Uh, it's just a mental thing. You know how you get in a rut sometimes that you just mentally make mistakes? And I was just there. In heat three, I just cleaned everything up and felt much much better uh followed zach most of the race to tell you to, to be truthful and um uh, here we were going on to the front straightaway and someone got tangled up and there was just nowhere to go smashed into the back of him uh, bumper started dragging but it wasn't a big deal uh cart was fine thank god um nobody was hurt and we all kept going uh they pulled away a little bit but i was quick enough to catch back up uh we made a couple more passes and moves I basically rode around behind the 100 and Zach the whole race. Uh, here, he's going to leave the door open. I'm going to send it in, and I don't know how to make the move stick because I was in full slide lock mode. Uh, basically, just went way too hot. 
Um, made it stick, crazy enough, can't believe it. And I was able to hold him off to the uh, finish line. And I ended up uh, P15 again. So overall, fell back, pick up some positions, good race, good run, uh, very happy. Anything vlogging? You've been wrenching. I know. So yeah, I have been nonstop. So uh, to get back to you, we did one practice, two heats so far. I finished 15 12 heats. Um, pretty good driving. We keep working on the cart, 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 working on the cart. And non-stop, Chad's over there laughing. Because I've been wrenching away, making some crazy changes. <laughs> Jed, Jed hasn't touched his cart! He doesn't have to, he's driving the rocket ship. He's already fast! Jed hasn't even touched it. Uh, I don't need changes. He's finally down to leader lap times. He just needs to get a good clean start and run up front. And I'm starting 15 for the pre-final. And I'm hoping to make it to at least top 10 to start top 10 for the final. It's been crazy starts. I just want to stay clean. Let's hope for the best. Let's hope for the best and let's hopefully no incidents at all. Now the pre-finals. The whole object was try to get as close as I could to the top 10. And at the very start of the race, I was following Eli. And he made a move on the inside and just ran out of real estate. Uh, after this, all I could do was try my best to keep up with the group in front and see if I could make up some more positions. Uh, this race did not go the way as planned and you'll see in a second why. Uh, at the moment, I was doing really well, keeping up uh, pretty well, even though it was the first lap, of course. Uh, I thought I had good pace to stay up with this group and maybe make some more positions up. But about halfway through the race, I had started losing the pack in front. Uh, they just kept pulling and pulling and pulling. And I ended up getting passed here in a second by the 177. And then uh, I made a move on him on the inside here going down to the, where we take the, the green flag uh, he's going to be on my outside and then Mo goes on my inside uh, I decided to back out of it entering this turn uh, smart decision at that point in time uh, 177 got a bad exit so I decided to make the move again I just made a mental error I don't know what happened to be honest I just lost the rear end and then I fell back a couple more positions uh, then I start fighting to get back up, but I got passed by a couple other people as well. So I make a move on the 110 coming up, uh, send it in, make a good pass, and then I start tracking down the people in front again. So like the cart came in halfway through the race again. Uh, start catching up to the 108, uh, make the move here on the inside. The 101 had gotten by me earlier. So basically start chasing him back down here. He looks over and throws a block. And to be honest, uh, I should have just kept my foot in it and just made it happen because I lose two positions because of it. Uh, looking back out of it, I probably would just stayed in it. But I was just thinking about bringing the cart home clean because we still had the finals to go. And one position wasn't worth it. But after losing two positions, I was like, maybe that one position was worth it. Uh, here, just followed them around. The 101 started blocking. So I knew I might be able to get another run up or maybe get the 108 towards the end of the line. But there's really not much passing zone after this section. It was kind of tight. And to really make it pass, you would have to go in on the inside of what I call the low carousel. So he ran a little wide. I shoved my nose in for a second and then I couldn't make it stick. So overall finished P16, not what I had planned for, but we still have the finals left. Ah, oh, Jesus, what a rough day. Here at the very end of the day, um, uh, it's been a rough day up and down. Definitely, we're still working and finding out different days. We did get the cart right in P3. Uh, we did a whole bunch of changes, stuff that we've never done before. The cart worked a lot better. There's a ton of grip out there. And the pre-final, I got up to speed and then... It just was 
mistake on my part. I'm guessing I should just calm down, sat back. I'm pushing too hard because I know I don't have the pace of the top runners. I want to get to the top 10. I was up to 11th. Just got loose, I would say. Don't really know what happened, to tell you the truth. I uh, made a good move in game three. I don't know where I finished. I'm probably 15th as well. We were running 15th all weekend. Just finished 16th. So, on to tomorrow. We're racing in the afternoon. We do a ton of changes again. Hoping it works out. I will see you guys tomorrow. So, this is the final day of racing. As you recall, yesterday. Uh, up and downs. Uh, we've been trying different things, trying to find some speed. Jed's flying. Uh, I haven't been flying, so we're starting 16th for the finals, and uh, Jed's starting eighth. Hopefully, I get lucky, move up. <coughs> Hopefully, Jed is able to get a good start and challenge for the win. Uh, I'm hoping for a top 10 finish. And then uh, move on to Ocala. But excellent event, excellent world ran event. Uh, always a blast. This, we had it this afternoon heat. Uh, the shifters are going about to go up right now. Uh, I'm heading to, to the track as we speak. <clears throat> My armband broke yesterday. So hopefully I'll have too much issue walking into the gate. If not, we'll have to, have to figure a way to get in. So on to the finals. I got moved up a couple positions due to some penalties handed out. And then I got moved out of the way. Went to turn one and uh, got on the brakes and the car did not slow down. Uh, got a little help from behind. But I knew it was a long race. So just get back at it. Uh, try to make up as many positions as I can. The 107 opened the door of the 101. So I took it. And then we were just going to go forward. That was my whole goal is just keep moving forward, keep moving forward, and do the best I could. Now, the 107 was fast all weekend. So I was thinking if I could stay close to the bumper of the 107, that I can move, make moves forward. When that person would make a move, I could make a move. Uh, I knew that if you get side by side in these carts, you guys know how much everybody gets bunched up back together. So if I could stay close... And when a 107 would make a move, if I was close enough to capitalize on it, I was going to take it. So that was the whole goal at the moment, was just stay as close as I could to the 107 and make moves. Um, the 107 made a move on 108, and I went for it and made a move on the 108 as well. I uh, did not know the 108 was still there on the inside. Uh, just got bunched up on accident. Sorry about that. Then I started losing a little touch on the front. Uh, Eli got around me. And then I thought maybe I could work with Eli, sit behind him, move forward, work with him and try to get up to the front and pass a couple people. Uh, Eli is a aggressive passer, so if there's an open, he'll take it. So I would have to make the same move as well. Uh, here I had the 101 behind me, and he's going to make a move on the inside and take the position. Uh, from here, I was just thinking about, you know, staying as close as I could maybe make a move if I could make a move uh, coming up here we come up to basically what is turn one uh, I got a good run up to turn one and I went to make the move and then when I make the move someone kept pushing on me and next thing you know I get smashed on the side uh, I took out the 101 I lost a whole bunch of positions there um, just went for an aggressive move myself and I did not expect someone to be on my inside as well so uh, just not the way the finals went for me at all. Uh, just the whole weekend didn't go well. But we kept digging the whole time. Um, the team never gave up. We kept trying different things. Uh, congratulations to Jed. Awesome drive. Ended up P5 in the finals. Awesome event, the Rock Cup. Uh, super big thanks to them for putting on the show and letting the 206 guys uh, show up and drive and play around. Uh, great event if you guys ever have the opportunity to try it out i recommend it highly and the p18 uh, we will move on to ocala and kick some butt there hopefully what can i say 
the day's over. And then we can then go to well. <laughs> Excuse me. Jesus. Uh, I'm a little under the weather. It doesn't matter. I just didn't perform at all. <laughs> I can be honest. Oh, I was not very good this weekend. <laughs> Unlike my teammate, Jed, which set fast lap in the finals. He finished P5. Finally got a good start. Got hooked up the lead pack. Um, final results aren't out yet. So we'll see where, where all shakes out. Uh, I think I finished like 220. Uh, got involved in a couple accidents, you know. We'll be back though. You gotta keep digging. You gotta keep searching. You gotta keep fighting. But overall, excellent weekend to everyone. This is an amazing event. Uh, if you have a chance to ever run one of these events, give it a shot. Because definitely, it's well put together, well organized, well ran. Thank you, Rock Cup, for everything you guys do. I appreciate it, and I'll see you guys in Ocala. Rock up Ocala. The next video is going to be a 24-hour sim track. Don't miss it.